Chow Chow Chow, Santern Joe here, and welcome to Pokemon Jade version. It's a brand new trial run for us to try out on right here on the trial run. This is a series where we play brand new Pokemon RPG Maker games, and of course, we also play ROM hacks as well. This is Pokemon Jade version. I'm very, very excited to play this. This has a bunch of brand new Pokemon, a couple of originals too, but I, honestly, I've, I'm excited to play this. I don't really know too much about this game, but from what I've seen, I like. Of course, as it's an RPG Maker game, it'll tell me one of my fonts is uninstalled. Uh, my, my, my fonts is not installed properly. But uh, I don't know which one it is. I never know which one it is. I'm never able to figure out which one it is. So I have never been able to figure out like what to do about it. I'm going to turn the special effects volume down. And the game volume. Because sometimes uh, on these games it can be a bit loud. I mean I've played Pokemon uh, Zeta version. Which has uh, Zeta and Omnicron. Which has quite loud. I'm going to put it to set. I'm going to have the run button on hold. No, 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 no. Toggle, toggle. I want it on toggle. I want it on toggle. So toggle, uh, so I don't have to do anything to do it. I'll put it on six. And we'll put that on there. Okay. I feel a bit... Uh, nostalgic, so I'm Diamond and Pearl. Diamond and Pearl remakes confirmed because I'm using Diamond and Pearl fonts. Not really, but there we go. I want to make it la uh, larger for me, and no one care. No one ever uses the screen borders for these games. Hello, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Spruce. People call me the Pokemon Professor. If you need any help, I'm certainly capable of giving it. No help needed, Spruce. What the hell is that? This world is inhabited by creatures we call Pokemon. People and Pokemon live together by supporting each other. Some people play with their Pokemon, others battle with them. But we don't quite know everything about Pokemon yet. There are still many mysteries to solve. That is why I study Pokemon every day. Are you a boy or a girl? Now, in my Nuzlocke series, I like to call my I like to play the girl, and the girl is called Joanne. But over here on the trial run, which is the other series I run on this channel, I like to call myself I like to be the boy character. I like to call myself Joe. So there's the boy sprite for you guys, and let me put in my name, which is Joe. So, hello everyone, I am Joe, aka Lantern Joe. I have been doing YouTube for eight years now. Uh, well, it will be eight years this November, so seven and a half, I want to say. Seven and a quarter? Seven and a quarter. All right, seven and a quarter. Uh, we are... Uh, I am very, very excited uh, today to announce that I am uh, going to be the, launching my own merch booth. Uh, well, merch design as soon as I can uh, figure out how. This is the next thing. I've got a design. I've got it commissioned. Uh, it's on my Twitter. I'm not going to show you it, but it's on my Twitter. Uh, so go and check out the Twitter at Lantern Joe. But uh, merch coming soon. First, you know, eight year anniversary merch coming very, very soon. Just, I need to figure out the whole how. I've never done this before. Anyway, so you're Joe. Yes, I am. Now, uh, I can't seem to remember the name of your of, uh, uh, this young person who will be known as your rival. What was her name again? All right, so I guess I've got to name her something. I don't really have a... Uh, there's not... I don't really know that many uh, female... Like, honestly, I do not know that many female YouTubers. Like, I'm, I watch a lot of uh, them, but I don't really know that many of them, like, you know, on a name basis. So I'm probably going to be naming this after one of my male friend, uh, uh, one of my friends that I know on an actual basis. So I'm going to be naming it Chips. It's a unisex name. It'll work, Chips. So their name is Chips. Yes. So that's it. So my rival is named Chips after the Chip Tide. Joe, are you ready? 
Your very own Pokemon adventure is about to unfold. You'll face tough, ch uh, fun times and tough challenges ahead. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. And we're in our room. This looks absolutely beautiful, I will admit. Can I... Is there anything in the PC? Withdraw item. Yes, there is. I will take my potion and go. Can I look... Uh, is there a map? No. Alright. I, I wanted to look at the map. Can I... Is there anything else I can interact with in my room? No, it doesn't look like it. Alright, let's go downstairs. Joe, you're awake. Uh, I've been waiting uh, so long uh, for you to get out of bed, sleepyhead. Today's a big day. You're finally going to get your own Pokemon. How exciting is that? It's very exciting, Mum. But before that, uh, Professor, uh, before you go and meet up with Professor Spruce, I want to give you something special. Running shoes! Thanks, Mum. Hold the Z button to run. Uh, with these babies on. Thank you. Alright, uh, go and make your mother proud. I'll be waiting here if, if you need anything, Joe. I believe if I press the X button on my joypad, because that's why I've got it mapped to, uh, I should be able to... Uh, I can run. So, there you go. Because I've got, it ho I've got it on toggle. If you put it on hold, you have to hold uh, the Z key. But I've got it on toggles uh, because I don't like to hold. I don't want to hold. It's just a waste of time holding another key. But this looks absolutely beautiful. I love staring at the ocean. It's so majestic. It is. It is. That's. But that's also not an ocean, mate. That is clearly not an ocean. Just saying. I remember when I got my first Pokemon, like it was yesterday. Hello. Uh, you should go and talk to Chips. They're... Joe, you should go and talk to Chips. They're looking for you. Last time I heard. Alright. Where is Chips? Hello. Uh, Bokanet. Uh, Banet... Banetta Town. Uh, just has a, a certain glow to it. I love the smell in the air. Just amazing. Is this Chips' house? Joe, Chips has uh, been looking for you all day long. Uh, they should be upstairs. You kids have too much energy these days. I can't keep up. Sorry, Chips' mum. Hmm. Looks like every... Uh, lit Every single thing is ready. I, wow, I'm excited. <laughs> Sorry, I sneezed. I will cut that out on the uh, in audacity, and you won't need to hear me sneeze. You'll still see me sneeze, but like you won't hear it. So it won't, you know. If you're wearing headphones, you won't say. I don't have to say. Rip headphone users. Someone there. Joe. I'm so f happy to finally see you, Joe. It's our big day. Uh, before we get our uh, Pokemon, I wanted, and before we get our Pokemon, I wanted to talk to you. It's been fun growing up uh, with you these years. I've learned a lot about myself, truly. Now we're going to grow up even further uh, as Pokemon trainers, traveling the Arrow region. I can't wait to get started. This is going to be a, f a a fiery rivalry, Joe. Don't you forget it. Now, before we head over to the lab, I'm going to prepare something, uh, some top secret stuff. So, you go on ahead. I'll meet you there. See ya. What are you doing? All right. He won't tell me, ladies and gentlemen. He won't tell me what he's up to. But, um, you know, he's a busy man, you know. Uh, he's a busy man, is my chips. I'm too old to start my journey and too tired. Well, yeah, because you're an old person. You would be too old and too tired. It's easy to get tired traveling around. Is rock climbing this game? 
It wouldn't be smart to go out there with a Pokemon, would it? Oh, I guess it wouldn't. Fine. Uh, where's this lab? Thank Joe, thank goodness you're here. There's some big trouble down by the ocean. You need to, to do something. All right. But I don't know what I could do. I don't really have a Pokemon, so... Can I go this way? I can. Get away from me, you dastardly creature, you. Someone please help me. Joe! Please come in, uh, Please come out here. Hurry! I was gathering samples of bacteria from the water for my research. Okay. Then suddenly a Pokemon jumped me and attacked me. If... If you could reach in and grab one of those Pokemon, uh, you could fiend off uh, the, the Aqua creature and save us. What do you say? Are you going to help me? Sure. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Be careful and do your best. All right. So it's time to see what's, uh, what these Pokemon are. So we have Marleaf. The grass type Pokemon looks like it could become a flying type Pokemon in the future. So grass and flying, that's pretty cool. Uh, I like Marleaf. Uh, what we got here? This is the fire type Pokemon, Charido. Okay, quite interesting too. Like that, and this is Slav. the water type Pokemon, possibly water poison, and maybe. This is Fire Ground. Charido could be Fire Ground, maybe? Because it looks like an armadillo. So armadillos, uh, like Sandshrew, for example, would be considered a ground type. I, I mean, I would call Sam... Uh, actually, I know that Sandshrew is called like a, a desert mouse Pokemon, but it kind of looks like an armadillo, doesn't it? Um... I guess we don't really have an armadillo Pokemon in real life, do we now? See, there's another animal we don't have as a Pokemon form yet. An armadillo. I've never thought about it. There's like a whole list of animals that have not been actually put turned into Pokemon yet. And there's a whole list of animals that have been turned into Pokemon. And sadly, armadillo is not one of them. I don't know which one I want to go with, really. I kind of like the... Gr uh, Marleaf kind of looks pretty cute. I will admit, Marleaf looks really cute. But I also like uh, I also like Charmadillo. Charmadillo looks really cool too. And then there's Slav. I am not really interested in Slav, to tell you the truth. Uh, it's not really my cup of tea. Might be someone's, not mine though. You know what? I think I want to go. With Marleaf. I want to go with Marleaf. Alright, so time to figure out what name I want to call this Pokemon. Um, I don't really have a name in mind for Marleaf. I'm going to call you Maple. Is that it? I don't know. I saw, uh, actually. <laughs> uh, let me try and figure out how to spell it. And uh, using my computer. Uh, using my computer. Ah, so it's M A. Ah, there we go. Now I know. So it's M A P. Maple. There you go. Maple. All right, let's go into this fight. What the hell is that thing? A Viofin. Okay. Go, Maple. All right, so we can see what the UI looks like in this game. It looks awesome, to tell you the truth, honestly. The assets they've used for this look amazing. My phone's charging again. Good. Right. Uh, I've got Tackle and Growl. Okay, I'm going to use Tackle then. I got a crit. I'll take it. I one-shot with a crit. 
Joe, that was amazing. You're a natural at battling. Yeah, I got a crit first time. I'll take that. Yeah, I'm a natural at battling. I'm the best. I'm kidding. I'm probably one of the worst, but you don't need to know about those uh, those draft league things that I've been in in the, in the past. And that Pokemon seems to like you already. Well done. I'll grab the rest of the Pokemon. Okay. Okay, we still, uh, uh, we still may not be out of, the of harm's way yet. So let's get back to the lab where we're safe. Okay. Joe, I can't thank you enough for your help back there. It looks like the Pokemon, uh, that Pokemon has become a big fan of yours. Good. You and I both know you were supposed to get a Pokemon today. It may not, it may be unorthodox, but you've got one now. Chips uh, should be here soon. Whoa, sorry I'm late. Hi, Chips. You know, actually, it does kind of look like Chips. If uh, it, it does actually kind of look like Chips. Chips has long blonde hair, uh, and I, I, I don't know if Chips would be a fan of wearing shorts, but. There we go. I think this actually could, uh, this actually could represent uh, a hairband, but ships could look like this, honestly. Uh, you're right on, chips. You're right on time. Uh, due to unexpected circumstances, Joe already has chosen their Pokemon, so it is now time for you to choose from the remaining two. Whoa. Okay, I'll be quick. All right, I've done it. This is my first Pokemon. One more thing before you embark on your journey. You two, a Pokedex and some Pokeballs. If you were doing a Nuzlocke, the Nuzlocke would start now, but I don't do Nuzlocke in trial runs to start off with. I like to play the game first and see if I can, uh, you know, sort of get a grasp on things before I hit the Nuzlocke button. The Arrow region is largely unexplored, and I'd like you to document the species that roam it. First, you, Joe. Okay, we just reached the Pokedex. Thank you. And five Pokeballs. Thank you. And now for you, Chips. You two have uh, your whole lives in front of you. Uh, so be brave. Take chances and explore the unknown. Most of all, have fun. I don't know about you, Joe, but uh, I'm going to train my Pokemon and take down all the gym leaders here in the Arrow region. Eventually, I'll become the ch I'll take down the champion too. I'm excited. Let's do this. All right, Joe. I was thinking, like, where's the rival battle? There we go. Now that we both have our own Pokemon, I feel it's exactly fitting of us to try them out. So this is my first Pokemon battle. Here we go. All right, let's do this. It's Joe versus Chips. I'm, I'm realizing that is like a kind of a mini skirt and not actually a, a pair of white shorts now, but... Uh, you know, in sprite form, it looks like a pair of white shorts. I guess it could be also hot pants too, but <laughs> I don't expect anyone should wear hot pants. One more tackle. Yes, there we go. Okay, cool. Nice. Level six for Maple. Maple learns Absorb. And level seven. Maple learns Leaf Seed. Awesome. You're strong. Hmm, that was a good learning experience for sure. I've enjoyed every minute of it. Well, Joe, I'm off to train my Pokemon. Catch me if you can. If you allow me to walk whilst you were tra uh, whilst you're talking, then I would be able to catch you if I could. Is anyone gonna? Can you heal me? Can you heal me? Oh, you got me two potions. Thank you. 
Hint, talk to that guy. Talk to uh, talk to Spruce's assistant. If you don't if you don't know already to do that. I can't seem to find my wife. We really should be heading home soon. Hmm. I mean, I think I know where your wife is, mate. Uh, can my mum heal me? If you're good. If you're going, getting tired, you can always go upstairs and take a nap. Oh, okay. I can actually climb in my bed and take a nap then. All right, cool. I will do that now. Take a rest? Yes. Ready to go. That's actually a really cool mechanic. That's like the first. Uh, that's the the first game I've seen where you can actually do that in your own bed back at home. You know, usually you have to talk to your mum to heal you, but like that was. That's actually pretty cool. It's locked. Oh, I wanted to go in the house. Hello. I can't wait until I get my first Pokemon. Okay. I guess I go down from here? No, no, that's the ocean. We've been there. And that's Spruce's lab. Uh, so, I guess... Where do we go? I don't actually know where we go here. Uh, maybe this way? And... See, there's his wife. Uh, right, I guess we go down here. Rock climb seems to be in front of this... Uh, of, uh, in this game, but I can't seem to get to it, so they're not... Uh, you know, I don't have rock climb yet. Ooh, Brat 1. Love the music, but... um. What the hell is that thing? A Sibora. Seeds. Seeds. Give it some seeds. Okay. It's level 5, so I can probably tackle it. And if I keep on tackling it and seeds, I probably should be able to catch it. Although, right now I... Actually, I could probably just throw a ball right now. Let's do it. Okay, maybe not. Uh, should we try that ball again? But eventually, it's going to go into the red with leech seed. Two. Lantern Joe. There we go. We got Cybora. Cabora. Cabora. The Cabora Pokemon. And this Pokemon loves uh, berries. It gives... Uh, it, this Pokemon's love of berries gives it thick fat, which makes it a sturdy Pokemon. Cabora loves uh, to be near water. And can swim effortlessly. Okay. Interesting. I don't really know what to call you. Yeah, I really don't... Capybora? Capybora? I call you... Billy. Don't ask why. I'm just going to call you Billy. So it's a capybora. Interesting. You look like a new trainer. So, so let's battle with our Pokemon. Get stronger. All right. Let's do this. Youngster Jib has a capybora of his own. A capybora of his own. Okay. Well, I'm going to siege you. Okay. You growl me. That's fine. And then I'm going to absorb. I will check out abilities and stuff in a minute. Uh, just to... Uh, just give me a sec, guys. We'll get out... Once we get out of this battle, we'll check out abilities and see if we... Uh, and see what abilities these things have for us. And also, like, what their stature... Uh, what their stature distribution is like.
Yeah, we'll check out all of that in a minute. Ooh. Actually, this is a keb. Keb. Can I go into Billy? Okay, Billy took that with uh, like a beast. Good, Billy. And now I will heal Billy with a potion. Good, Billy. Taking that like a beast. This looks like a bird, so I don't want to be in with my grass type on a bird. And Billy came in, uh, came in handy there. Good work, Billy. Okay. What the hell is that thing? I know it does also look like a grass type, but I already have a grass flying starter, so I'm not picking this up, but this is a dandrut. But that's pretty cool too. Right, let's have a look at the... Oh, the menu UI looks amazing! Let's have a look at these things. So there's maple. Naughty nature hates to lose. Okay, overgrowth for the ability, and there's its stature distribution right there. Seems so it's going to be. It could be mixed attacking at this moment in time, but it might go into more of a. It might go more into a physical attacker with that naughty nature, but I don't know. Could be interesting though. And Billy, on the other hand, okay, so Billy is a normal type. It has a bold nature, so it's quite defensive. It's capable of taking hits. Great, that's fantastic. It's got pick up for the ability, tackle, and growl on its moveset. I love the UI, though, for the menu. That's an antidote. Nice. What else have we got here in the grass? What the hell is that thing? A maggle. Maggle. Okay. I love Fakemon. I honestly do. I honestly love Fakemon games. It looks like it's going to be a bug type. I'm not really. I'm not a big fan of bug types, to tell you the truth. So I probably won't be picking that up. Hey kid, keeping your Pokemon healthy is really important when you're traveling. Make sure to keep your bag stocked up with potions uh, and heal them. Here's a free sample. Thank you. Thank you, really nice Mart attendant guy. Look at my dan dandruff. It's so cool. It's so cute. Alright, I'm going to look at your dandruff. I don't know if that's cute. Honestly, grass fairy type? I mean, I got another crit with maple. I will take. Hang on. Is... I can work with that. I can work with that. If I take a screenshot of that, I can work with that and get it on the layout. I was trying to see if, I could, if I'll be able to put that on the layout. If I'll be able to put these on the layout. And there's the outline of the badges. Oh, I need to take a screenshot of that later. That's another thing I need to do. This is basically it. This is just, this is editing Joe working his way into the video because, you know, I like to ha make sure I have everything ready for this series. Uh, you know, to so I can actually record at any moment. So, when I'm playing a new game, I don't have things like layouts and stuff like that uh, set up. But I sort of have a base plan of layouts set up, but like not all of it is set up in my head of what I, how I want it to work as of yet. So, ow! Would you mind not critting me? And you have another capybora. Well, can I go into Billy on this one, please, since you just crit me? And maybe go for the tackle. Come on, Billy. You can do this. Nice. Good work, Billy. What is this? 
Route 1. Avance uh, Avalon's Vey. Okay. I love the music. Can I not... I... Oh, that's that bird! I got a crit. So I wanted, kind of wanted to catch the bird. The trees hold so much mystery. My Pokemon only came from the trees. Okay. You have a Maggle. You have a Maggle. Ooh, your Maggle has Poison Point. I don't like that. I don't like that at all, since I'm quite far away from the Pokemon set. I don't even know if there is a Pokemon set anywhere nearby. I mean, this is not a Nuzlocke, so I'm fine, but... Uh, let me... Get on out of here. Billy? Thank you for taking your hits. Uh, I know you're capable of taking them, uh, so I'm very happy you have uh, you did that. I have potions, so I'm fine for the moment in time, and I have an antidote too. But it's going to take all my bags to try and get this thing back to the Pokemon Center, unless uh, this is based off the sixth Gen UI, uh, well, sorry, fourth Gen UI, where I don't take um, where I live on one from poison damage. If that's the case, then uh, Billy should be able to guide me to the nearest city. Yeah, poison fades away at, uh, at one health. All right, cool. And there's Avenet Bay. Joe! Do not battle me, Chips. I need to go to the Pokemon Center. I was waiting for you to make it to Avalanche Bay. It's beautiful. Anyway... Uh, since uh, I got here a little ahead of you, I know a couple of things uh, that you should probably uh, you probably benefit from knowing. Do you know where the Pokemon Center is? Because I could do with that. Let me show you this important stuff. You can find uh, uh, you can find in place in a place like this. All right, that's the Pokemon Mart. You can use it to buy items and Pokeballs, like potions and Pokeballs, to help you on your journey. Alright. The outdoors is dangerous, you know. Anyway, let's move on. There's the Pokemon Center. So this here is the Pokemon Center. You see, this is uh, where you'll be visiting non-stop in order to heal your Pokemon. So you should come to one of these. Alright. My mum told me that most towns and cities have uh, one of these, so be on the lookout for every uh, be on the lookout in every new place you go. Wow, Joe, come check this out. Uh, okay, just don't battle me, okay? Isn't this simply breathtaking? We're lucky to be exploring such a lush region, Arrow. Uh, is like no other in the Pokemon world. The ocean is consistently near the Kabuto, uh, Kabu, uh, to rainforest, the largest rainforest in the whole world, and yet most of it is uh, uh, most is unknown. Same with the gold white desert. In fact, I've seen some. I've heard some crazy rumors about that place. Allegedly, there's a band of rebel cowboys that are doing some horrible evil stuff to citizens of that of this great region. It sounds crazy, but you never know. Joe, uh, sorry Joe, I got caught up in my rambling. There's so much I want to see and do, I can barely keep track. I suggest you go and see my cousin in the hat. Uh, in a house across the way from the Pokemon Center, she'll give you a map of the region. I'm sure she'll have another. Uh, I'm sure she has another one for you. All right. Well, I would battle you, but uh, uh, I would battle you here and now. But I'm itching to get uh, to Sunnyville City and uh, get my first gym badge. Okay. I promise. I'll give you. I'll give you. 
my old van. But until then, I bid you adieu. Alright. Well, I'm going into the Pokemon Center. Heal me. Thank you, Nurse Joy. <laughs> can I see the map from here? I can. Cool. Okay, so let's see what we got here. So that's Route 2 to Steamlet Cave. There's Sunnyville, si Sunnyville City. This is Route 3. This is uh, Wal uh, Warren's, Warren's Bay and Warren's Beach. This is Melbourne City. Is this based in Australia? Because it looks like it could be. This is the Capucho Rainforest. Capiro Rainforest. Uh, uh, that Chips mentioned. This is Meth Village. This is uh, Port Jackabrook. Rabu Rabar Town. Jade Jadenville Town. I only Yad Buntana uh, Butama uh, Province <laughs> If I pronounce any of these wrong I am sorry Pokemon J developers I have no idea how to pronounce your game It has an ancient chasm though Apollo Town That's easy to pronounce Faustino Fons... Town Viewville Ca uh, View Castle City. Uh, this is Rackhoral Bay. Lancy City. This is the Coral Reef. Abex Coral Reef. And then over here, this is Port Harvey. The Furt Snow Forest with the Sub Zero Cave. And then this is. Everwind City, Everwind Village. Okay. This is the Jade Mountains. Okay. And then this is Barrow at Town, Spruce's Lab, uh, Fly Go uh, Fly On Bay, with the Battle Gauntlet. Victory Road, and there is Mount Opera's entrance, which I'm guessing is the Pokemon. Yep, Mount Opera, the Pokemon League. Cool. Right, we're going to venture around Avenet Bay in the next episode. I'll get that map first before we end up today's episode. Hello. I love being here, and uh, but I do miss the vibe of a bustling city. Well, I'll get used to it soon enough. Is it this house here? Hello. Hello there. Are you Chips' friend? Uh, they told me you'd be uh, stopping by. This should keep you immersed throughout your journey. So don't get lost. There's a town map. Thank you. Bye-bye now. Right. I'm going to end off today's episode here. In the next episode, we're going to... Uh, go on ahead on to Route 2 and the Steamlet Cave. And we'll be joining you for there on Wednesday's episode. But until next time, I am Lancer and Joe. If you enjoyed this, leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. Join us next time when we'll be playing more Pokemon Jade version. Till then, me and the little Pokemon get to Lazar. Everybody get Pokemon. Good night! Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, then please consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at Lantern Joe, where you'll get news, thoughts, and opinions from me and the rest of the Lantern Nation. You can also check out these two videos in the top right and top left hand corner. And don't forget to check out Power Zone Metal. It's a weekly radio show where you can listen to heavy metal music and so much more. You can find out more information about that at powerzonemetal.uk. But until next time, I am Lantern Joe, and I will see you next time.